We strongly believe informed participation by all elements of society, men and women in a country's economic and political life, is essential for the building of a vibrant and durable democratic society. Democracies are stronger when they work together, and it is only through confronting these global challenges together and upholding our traditions, shared values and principles enshrined in the Warsaw Declaration, and the promotion of effective multilateralism and a rules-based international order that we can be resilient and ward off these threats. We need to do more to promote government-to-government -government and people-to-people -people linkages and promote civil education and literacy that will strengthen our democratic institutions and the sharing of best practices will support these norms and values. Where appropriate, we need to promote discussions and forums on subjects relevant to democratic governance to continue and deepen our dialogue on democratization. Civil society and youth are necessary to help strengthen democratic resilience. The role of women too is crucial. In this regard, Sri Lanka was pleased to take part with Liberia, the Philippines, Romania, and Nepal in the Engaging Women in Sustaining Peace project last year, carried out by the Secretariat of the Community, where women leaders in peace building and peacekeeping were interviewed to present their stories to the public and highlight the many achievements of women in sustaining peace as well as challenges to their participation in these settings and raise awareness about the contribution that women make across the world to preventing and resolving conflicts and peace building that can serve to inspire future generations to actively engage women in sustaining peace and serve as a guide to best practices. At this critical juncture, let us all rededicate ourselves to work with renewed vigor and commitment to collectively work towards reinforcing and safeguarding our democratic principles and systems of governance built on respect for human rights, strong institutional capacity, transparency, and trust if we are to overcome the global crises before us and build back a more humane and sustainable world for the benefit of future generations. Kata Uttaranathivenna Kaling, Signal Deep Clean Ekakata Maruenna.